Uh, we also have a new public API. Uh, this, uh, and I'll show you a, a demonstration of this in just a couple minutes. This allows third-party applications to talk to Clearstream RFID. And the, the interesting use case for this is actually being able to power up and stop readers through that third-party application. So if somebody already had maybe a web, uh, well, internal website for their company that would allow them to uh, view maybe tag information that was uh, being sent to this uh, database table that's, that the website is built off of, you can hook up through that uh, web page the ability to turn on and off readers. So let's say through a website you wanted to see what was available in the stock room. Well, you could have that website have a button on there that says scan room for 30 seconds. And that would scan the room. You could power up the reader, scan the room, and when it's complete, you could see what is what inventory is at that location. And it's all done through this public API. So that's installed with the uh, Clearstream 3.0 uh, with the, the standard installation. Uh, we, we provide a sample of the public API through uh, the installation of Clearstream. So if you go to um, your start menu and go to PTS and Clearstream 3, there's a new web link here for Clearstream web app demo. And if I go ahead and open this up, you can see here, this is just a website that's loaded and pre-installed with Clearstream. Uh, it would, it's really just a sample to show you how this works because the code is provided for this. But this could be a website that's embedded in your own website or maybe an own internal application that you may use uh, for inventory or something like that. So what this allows you to do is actually set up um, the or grab this configuration that I have available through our environment here. And actually, one thing I want to do, I want to change the names of these. This is a Moto reader, and this is my emulated reader. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change the names on them. So really what the, web, the API allows you to do is grab this configuration that you have and then start and stop the readers as necessary. So right now I have two readers in my configuration. And previously, you would have to start them through this start-stop form within Clearstream. But if you want to provide a third-party way of doing it through a website or a standalone application, I think my port is 4407, you would go ahead and hook up through this uh, API. And you can see it pulled the list in for the two readers that we have, the Moto reader and the emulated reader. And it allows you, through that third-party application or website, to, to take a look at the configuration here. And if I pick these, you can see the information about the readers. And at this point, you could actually start or stop the readers. You could also start and stop the emulated readers as well if you'd like to power those up. Um, and you can actually, through the website, see that emulated environment power up the readers and start scanning tags. So it's a cool new way of powering and controlling Clearstream without actually having to use the Clearstream uh, RFID uh, management studio interface. You can make, create your own or create some type of website that would allow you to do that. Uh, interesting just thing to note here is this we've powered this thing up on, say, a cell phone. So through uh, someone's iPhone or Android phone or something like that, you can start and stop all of the readers in your environment. 